a dydd yn gamwyd. Rhwch groeso i gen arweinydd Plaid Cymru fi oedd yn aelod seneddol am saith mlynedd ar hugain i fyny yn y gogledd. Yr un, yr unig un, Mr. David Wigley. The word to remember Eddie and seeing him there in Merthyr Tidville brought memories back to me as I'm sure they did to Eleanor and our family who are here today. Fifty years ago this year I first won a seat. It was for the Park Ward, the Girnos Ward of Merthyr Tidville. And those fantastic people of Berthyr and all the other industrial communities in Glamorgan, Gwent and around Wales deserve a better deal than they've had over the last 50 years and for centuries before that. They need independence and they need it now. The Matro can tell me on earth, rally anybody yet. I got the old Hirchum of the young. Yn hyd lefar y ddion ac i chi yn miloedd sydd yma heddiw. Ac a'i ddiolch yn arbennig i rhoi sydd... Ie? Ie, sydd y meicrofon. Yn rhoi sydd yn y ddigon yna hynna, trwy am y tro cyntaf. Ga'i ddiolch felly i rhoi sydd wedi creu yr mudiad yma, a rhoi sydd i cymryd y cymrifoldau drosol. Ar fi'n siŵr, y bydd pawb o fath yna garfan y fyr yn dod yn uno yn awr, er mwyn cael y maen i'r wal. Er gwaethaf Covid-19 dan i yma o hyd. My friends, my friends, in this week of all weeks, do we really need to convince ourselves that independence isn't just a desirable long-term objective? It is an urgent necessity to free Wales from the stranglehold of a bankrupt Britain. The dice the dice thrown by desperate unionists in London, London's last chance saloon is that patronising treasury twaddle. Ah yes, gallant little Wales, but you just can't afford it. What absolute unmitigated bunkum. That's what they told Ireland, as we heard earlier today. They told Ireland when a million of her people were starved to death under London rule. And look at Ireland now, as we heard, with an income per head 50% higher than that of Wales. Have you? Man on day nach and for the or any of yet. Or hell with a one in the left swith arm of your squid or the letion and verso, O Laduria for the the Lethion sy wedi crony o wariant hirthig ar arfa niwclear, o rafeloedd llwyrig fel yr ac, o brosiecta dritfawr megis crossrail ag HS2, a polisia ynfyd heddiw sy wedi chwalun ythlon y hygredau rhyngwladol. Wales, my friends, today desperately needs to free ourselves from the treasury lemmings who are driving the British economy over the cliff edge into terminal meltdown. We need independence today, not at some misty future date. We need to take control of the Welsh economy and build a secure economic future for our country and its people, all its people, whatever their language, colour or creed. And we mustn't be we mustn't be timid, my friends. We mustn't be timid or apologetic in our demand for our independence. As a nation, we have a right to be independent. And, and we mustn't argue tentatively that it would be very nice in theory, but not just yet. We want it not in 20 years time. We want it, we desperately need it now. I want to see an independent Wales in my lifetime, and the clock is ticking. <laughs> this past week's economic meltdown brings home the urgency of that aspiration. So let's remind ourselves why we can't trust the UK Treasury, locked behind their Whitehall ramparts, with any aspect of Wales' economic well-being. Four facts we should never forget. 
Firstly, for decades, Wales has struggled to make ends meet because we're funded by a Barnet formula based on a way outdated statistics which ignore Wales' needs. Parliamentary committees have urged its replacement, but the Treasury, that last bastion of Imperial Britain, simply say no. And remember again, when the EU recognised our needs and provided regional and social funding, it was, my friends, the Treasury in London which pocketed the money, saying that Wales was already being adequately funded. And without our National Assembly stand, we wouldn't have had a brass farthing of that cash. And today, despite pledges made at the time of Brexit, the replacement funds working? Yes, thank you. The replacement funds promised to Wales are used by the Treasury to bankroll Northern England projects to rescue Tory MPs. And finally, there was that disgraceful Treasury intervention when Wales's government, to their credit, had replaced unplanned year-end spending and pooled, yes, £400 million into a strategic fund, listen to this, to build schools and build hospitals, a prudent policy of real value. What did the Treasury do? They clawed back every single penny of that, just as John Redwood did in the 90s, saying that Wales didn't need that money. Dyna be yma trysorlis wedi wneud i Gymru, peidiwch byth a chredu gair mae nhw'n dweud. Don't trust the Treasury. Don't trust the Treasury one further day with Wales' well-being, nor indeed with a penny of Wales' taxes. They are the enemy of our nation, and we must escape from their insidious grip. No doubt, no doubt they'll, they'll be enrolled to rubbish the timely report by Professor John Doyle, showing that, of course, an independent Wales could pay its way. But it is, is now our duty to spell out in detail what we mean by independence, to show how it can rescue Wales from hair-brained policies emanating from a mad dog government to show how independence can work for everyone in Wales, to show how we can cooperate with our English friends and Scots and Irish too in building a new partnership in these islands based on our freedom and mutual self-respect. And, and how we can build our own future, our own future based on our own values, social, cultural, environmental and economic for the good of all our citizens and how we can work in harmony with mainland Europe. We need independence. We need it now. Now! <laughs>
Edel a David Day. Ever David Iwan and Tatskan in Portney. Emma Ohi. Well, I'm Bryn Howen Gwych. Diolch o galon i bob un copa wastog o hynachu ar herig. Bwy'n gobeithio eich bod chi wedi cael eich hysbrydoli. Let's take this energy with us now and tell 